truly healing to my soul and heart and spirit. I just, God, I mean, I wish everybody could experience, you know, being this daggum far. Actually, that guy in that plane is probably the closest person to me right now. Kind of got my stuff drying a bit. It's been so dang damp up in the valley. All that rain gets squeezed in between Prince William Sound and the uh, True Gats Mountains and the Kenai Mountains all squeeze it in and kind of like Seattle or Portland weather. Then you come out of the Kenai Mountains onto the Kenai Peninsula and the rain's not near as bad. But yeah, I went by Salvation Army's thrift store and they got some badass socks. Uh, these aren't wigwams, these are Fox River. And that's what in Alaska, you go to a thrift stores, you don't find none of that bullshit like you find down in the south. Uh, oh, really good. Oh, I found these today. They're, they have strawberry or cherry Twizzlers, but there's the soft ones. These are actually hard, just like the strawberry ones. They're actually pretty darn good, but it's all they had. They didn't have strawberries. But, yeah, kind of drying that mat out too before it gets to the mill doing yeah these big chunks of coal here are naturally occurring they're like a grade three coal there's not that much oil in them but it still will burn and it's just all over the beach but you got to get your fire going a bit to get it hot throughout all around before you can start burning it and it Something like that will last 20 minutes, and it puts off good heat. It'll all burn just like charcoal briquettes. See if I can get some going here. And I'll go through my pack here, kind of show everybody what I, I carry. Somebody had mentioned me doing that. Yeah, we're about seven hours of dark at night now. Uh, can't put that whole damn thing on there. There's a slab. I can't break it in half one more time. That's good enough. Well, I better not try. I gotta get some coals going first. You guy, oh, I got a lot of driftwood. people are like dang aren't you gonna get in trouble building a fire on the man this is Alaska the difference between the lower 48 and here I mean nine out of ten people out here they carry one out of five people in Alaska have pilot's license yeah I'm kind of smothering that out kind of open that up there God. Anyway, yeah, I built it on that side of the rock for that reason, but it's actually making like a whirlpool effect now. Yeah, I'm just doing this to cook on. <clears throat> I got some dry goods, Fred Meyer and Carter's Safeway. This is pretty good stuff. Bob's Red Mill Oatmeal. Just add hot water, and then I got some Zataran beans and rice actually has real meat in it. Alright, that's enough for now. But Alright. This here is the summer bag. Well, first that's my mat. Then my tarp always goes first. If I'm not going to use it that night to go over me. 
this summer bag will go down inside my bivy and my winter bag. Let me try to prop this camera up somehow. I might be able to do this somehow. That way I ain't gonna hold it. Let's see where I'm gonna be filming from. Okay, I'm gonna sit this so my camera will go back on it. Like so. Let's see. Grab my camera again. Besides, you know, I wish I had somebody here to help with the camera. Oh, let me flip this top back over. Okay, MB. pack right here I have both of my battery packs that you charge for your phone then I have my other cell phone and the other one and my headphones there inside a uh, a Copenhagen can you know a water bottle and these little ring ponytail holders to wrap chips up so, my Bowie knife and my machete on the back, my hairbrush in the back. Then on this bottom one here, I have my monocular and my daily one a man, one a day man, or whatever it's called. I only get G and C. They're they're actually worth it. Uh, Mega Man or whatever. There's my monocular. It's got one. Uh, looking glass. There's my big paint pen, white and black. And my water key. And my flashlight. Bug spray. And a deodorant and all that stuff in the side. And I got my utility knife down in here. Side pack. And this side pack's got my meds. Uh, Q-tip. Sewing kit. Actually, it's not a sewing kit like uh, most people think it's just an old medicine bottle that's full of needles different size no sewing needles and a crescent needle like a surgeon needle For leather and stuff like that and then I buy a spool of thread for 98 cents at Walmart or Ben Franklin and uh, Just those two together. That's my sewing kit and my nice sharpener uh, Actually, that's actually about it yeah, I'll think of something later. Always do. And always two gallons of water. See, I've already gone through one gallon since I've been out here. And 
Usually I carry large logic cast iron, but a small one, like a, a four inch skillet. But, yeah, during the night it's kind of freaky. You got little bitty rocks. Sometimes there are bigger rocks the size of your fist come rolling down. That wind erosion eating at it. But, town, uh, four miles back. Now that the sun's down a little bit more, I'm gonna slowly turn a circle back west. We're almost due south right now. Boom, south. And south, southwest. I'm gonna see if there's a ship out there. Ah, it's so dang hazy out on the See their spray on, when the water's choppy like that, white cresting, it sends a little mist in there and it just reduces the visibility really drastically. Uh, anyway, I may do one later where I'm laying everything out with my gear.